Hi everybody, this is Lisa and it's time again for another Verbling class. In this hour we're going to be doing some writing in English. So I got together a bunch of different questions and some writing prompts and some new um, actual things we can do like writing directions and grocery lists and things like that that will use different vocabulary. So um, if you want to join this class and you have a premium membership, you can get a reservation and click on the blue button where it says uh, get a reservation. You can do that in the first two minutes of this class. Otherwise, um, if you don't have the premium membership, you can get it for $25 a month. And that, of course, is helping to pay for verbling expenses and bills. So uh, verbling is a pretty amazing site because for the most part it's all free and you can access free online classes and also recordings of classes and get partners to speak with and everything so um, of course they love it if you would uh, join as a premium member so they can also pay the bills so um, yeah anyways if you don't have the premium membership you can just wait until the green join class button comes up and then you can join and we're going to be doing some writing today and so I'm going to welcome in Hamid. Hi there Hamid, how are you? Hi, I am okay and you? Good, doing well, thank you. And um, Miriam, how are you doing? I'm fine, fine. Good, good. And um, so I'm going to put the link for you guys in the Google Hangouts chat. You guys are the okay. first ones in the class, but you can go there and uh, check it out. There's a few more things I added for today. There's uh, different levels of writing. So there's some that are more beginner level, some that are intermediate, and then there's the essay question, actually, uh, which is a TOEFL type essay question. And today it's actually a persuasive essay, so where you're trying to persuade somebody or convince somebody about Swiss. something yeah. that you believe in. So as you're coming in, everybody, um, it's a good idea just to have your microphone muted so that we can um, have it quiet so people can hear me and we don't hear any background noise. Thank you. And also it's a good idea to close your verbling window. So in the verbling page you clicked on the join class button and then it opens a new window which is the Google oh, Plus Hangouts yeah. window and when you open that window uh, sometimes the verbling window starts playing the video because right now this is uh, being recorded so this is a live class happening right now and it's being recorded for uh, on YouTube and uh, so we want to close the verbling window so we don't hear any of uh, us talking again and hello everybody for those of you who just joined us, why don't you go to the Google chat, which is on your left, and uh, click on that chat icon, and then you'll see the link to the Google document. That is where you're going to be doing your writing. So this is a writing class. Um, in the writing class, you're getting to use the whole time to do writing, practice your writing, and what I it, what I do for the class is I answer questions and I also edit or uh, correct your writing. So once, once you finish your writing, you tell me and then I have you read it out loud and then I make corrections. Maybe I sometimes make corrections on spelling, sometimes on punctuation, sometimes I change the preposition that you're using. I just change it so that it uh, is more like a native speaker would write and um, yeah looks like we are pretty full here one two three four five six seven eight nine yes okay so welcome everybody um, has everybody found the link I only see that four people have opened uh, the link so I want to make sure everybody knows where to look you have to look over here I believe it's over on there on your side and that's uh, the Google Chat. It's a blue icon, and it says Chat, C-H-A-T. 
and if you go there that's where I am posting the link you have to click click on that link and um, then it opens up for you another window and that's the Google document and that is where we're going to be writing and that's also what I'm going to put in the screen share so I'll put that in there so this is what you should be looking at on your computer so you should be having at least uh, two windows open one is the Google Hangout window so you can uh, see what's going on and also the Google document window which is where you're going to be writing those are the two that you need open right now and um, let's see one two three let's go and say hi to everybody hi action how are you doing Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everyone. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. And were you able to open the Google document? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I, open, I opened it. You opened it. Good. Great. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to go one at a time here. Alfredo. Hi, Alfredo. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. How are you? Alfredo, where I are you from? I'm from Spain. I'm from Madrid. Okay, Madrid. Welcome. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. So, were you able to open the Google document? Yes, I do. Okay. And um, action, it's like you're in here twice. <laughs> I don't know what that is about. So, that's kind of weird. All right. Anna, how are you doing? Hey, I'm fine. Great. Anna, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Brazil, okay, wonderful, yeah. welcome. Did you open <laughs> the Google document yet? Yes, yes, I did. Great, okay, and Hamid, I bet you did already, right? Yes, uh, in public question. Uh huh. And yeah. uh, can you explain a little bit uh, public question? Yes, I will in just a minute. And okay. um, Ishmael, did you open the uh, document yet? Yes, Lisa, I oh. opened the document already. Great. Okay, wonderful. Just checking in. I want to make sure everybody gets there. And, and Miriam, are you there? Did you open the document? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. And Oliver, how about you? Yeah. Okay, you got the document opened? Um, no. Okay, you have to go to the Google chat and then uh, click on the link that's in the Google chat and that opens up another window for you, which will be the document. Uh, and it looks like this right here. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't see any link in Google chat. Okay, it's not in the verb link chat, it's in the Google chat. You have to go over to the left side of your screen. Ah, yeah, I got it. There, yeah. Click there, and then you can see it's there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Zinyu, how are you doing? Okay, yeah. It's the same document that you have in your screen share. Exactly, yes. Yeah, I got it. Awesome. Okay, great. Okay, and Zinyu, are you there? Is your microphone on? <coughs> Zinyu? Zinyu? Okay. And Luis Antonio, how are you there? Hi, Luis. Did you get the document opened? I think your microphone is muted. Okay, I think you know how to get there. All right, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to, if I hear any background noise, I'm going to mute you guys. I'm going to go over how this works. Um, for you guys who already know, you can go ahead and get started. For people who are new, I will explain how this works. Um, this is the writing class, and in this class, it's basically just for you to practice your writing and also to uh, get some feedback, get some corrections, and um, so yeah, that's what we do during this hour. Um, and you have a lot of choice, so for example, I have lots of questions here and different types of things. So here's a little map, and on the map you see little boxes of different places like the 
the cemetery, the bus station, the college, city library. And so what I say is, uh, the question is, how do I get from the city high school, so that's over here, to the city library, so that's over here. So there's a few different ways that you can write those directions. So I want you to write the directions um, as clearly as you can. Um, so the, what you do, somebody already started writing. The only thing I want you to do here is write your name. Write your name. Okay, somebody erased it. Uh, write your name first and start your writing. So then I know who who is writing what. And then I can go there when you're ready to read. So you can do that. That's one thing you can work on is writing directions. Um, that's a good thing to do, of course, when you're meeting people or you're traveling and you have to email somebody um, directions how to get somewhere to a restaurant or to your house or something like that. Um, it's a good practice to use that vocabulary. Number two is write a shopping list for all the things you will need to buy at the grocery store this week. So that's all the food things. So this is just practicing writing a list. Um, it's just it's kind of an easy thing, but you might be surprised. Uh, it has a lot of vocabulary, which you may or may not know. So you know all the different types of meat or fish you might buy, or milk products, or grains, things like that. You can just write your name and then write your sh uh, pasta, whatever it might be. You might know it, of course, it's pretty easy in your own language, but it, it, this is for practicing your English. So creating a list of grocery items. Um, you could also work on number three, which is write a thank you email to your mother for paying for your weekend getaway to the beach. Tell her some things that you did and if you had a good time. So this is an email to your mom and you just want to tell her thank you because she paid for you to go to uh, the beach for the weekend. So you want to give her a thank you. You know, we used to write thank you letters, but now a lot of times it's mostly thank you emails. So that's practicing that. Here's a picture for number four. It says, tell me what is going on in this picture. So you can just describe it, or you can uh, write a story about it. So however you want to do it, either just uh, the facts, like this boy, what he's doing, what they're wearing, what the temperatures are, what the weather's like, that kind of thing, describing what's going on, or writing a story about it, making it more creative. Uh, number five is write a letter of complaint, as an email, to your internet company telling them that you have been experiencing yes. slow connections lately and that you want them to fix it right away. So that's a, something that happens uh, sometimes and you might need to write an email like that um, for real. And number six is write an email to your language exchange partner to set up a time when you can, when you can get on Skype for a chat. Offer a few times that will work for you, etc. So just as that's an informal, friendly email to a person that you want to Skype with. That's what a lot of people are doing nowadays. Or maybe to your verbling partner. I'm going to put this down a little bit, action. And number six, just tell me what you're going to do this weekend and uh, write at least five sentences, but you can write more. And the last one that some people might want to be working on is the TOEFL essay question. This time it's called a persuasive essay. So that means uh, you want to try to convince somebody, the person who's reading your article, about something um, that you believe in. In this case, I already gave you the statement. So the statement is, it is important to get eight hours of sleep every night in order to stay healthy. So you have to agree with that, and your job is to actually write an essay to try to convince somebody that this is true. So you have to tell the reasons why it's true. So you have to give examples um, and explain why this is true. So you're trying to convince somebody to believe this right here. Okay? That's what you do there. And uh, you can do it a couple paragraphs, three, four, five paragraphs, however much you uh, want. But your main idea is to convince the person reading it. Um, for them to go away after reading your article and say, oh, okay, I better get more sleep. That's important. Okay? And then down here, there's some easier, just some writing exercises. 
So uh, all I said is uh, I wrote some sentences, and these are all um, in the present tense or present progressive tense. The tense is not so important that you know, but it's talking about things that you're going to do today, and your job is to write about it in the past. So you would start with yesterday, and so the example would be yesterday I This uh, for you, and it's just a few of them, not not too many. But if you wanted to do more, you could. Um, so that's a little bit just simpler, just kind of like exercise type thing. Okay, so that's all my the directions, and I know some people already know how to do this. Um, if you are new and you have a question, you can ask me anytime, and um, otherwise you can just start writing. And when you are finished. Tell me, and then I will have you read what you wrote, and then I will make corrections. Okay, uh, Farhad, the, I'm going to put the link for you in the Google chat so you can open it. There you go. Does anybody have any questions? You, you don't have to do all of them. You will not have time to do all of them. You just pick one to start with and you write your answer and then you tell me and then I correct and then you go to another one so we just try to do as much as we can in this time period this hour that we have together and that's all we do just writing does anybody have any questions only only this for this hour or how many hours do we have just, to make this yeah just for this hour this this class is until uh, the end of this hour, that's all. <laughs> okay, okay, I was kidding. <laughs> you have to write for the next 10 hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no sleeping for you tonight. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, go for it. So if you have any questions at any time, just uh, let me know.
You know, you know, I just put the um, link for you in the chat, the Google chat. I mean, eh? Hmm. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, Yina, did you find the Yina? Did you find the link?
Whenever you're ready to read, just let me know if somebody's done. Oliver, do you want to read your list? Grocery items? Hi, Maria. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Uh huh. For the link. But, sure. But, uh, okay, Oliver. Uh, okay. Well, my um, grocery list it will uh -huh. be milk. Six boxes, uh -huh. some butter, twelve eggs, chocolate ice cream. Ice uh, cream. Okay, we say chocolate ice cream. Yep. Uh, even even bar. if it's gonna be more. Yeah, chocolate. And then I would say, are you gonna buy one chocolate bar or more? I don't know. Okay. Chocolate bar. Meat. Uh, meat. Some uh -huh. meat. I don't know how much. You know. Yeah. Because it depends from the offer in the market. Uh huh. The price. Yeah. Some sometimes you have better price, and so you sure. can buy more. And somebody is more expensive. So. Do you buy? Less. Do you buy your meat uh, just at the store, like in a package, or from a butcher? Uh, you mean in the supermarket? Yeah. Is it already packaged in the supermarket, or do in, you in, tell the in, person? In two ways. Sometimes uh -huh. it's more. Convenient in one way or other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Or sometimes uh, the specific thing that you want is just in one way. Right. Okay. Um, and two you go back. That mm -hmm. it's I think because I have almost anything that I need. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna say here. So two yogurt bag, uh, and then I would just say that. That's it. Period. Um, I have. Uh, I would say a lot of the other things. I have a lot of the. Oops. The other things, and we say in stock. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. All right. And Anna, do you want to read your list? Okay. Okay. Rice, beans, meat, chocolate, tomatoes, lettuce, potato, hammer, and cheese. Ham? Do you mean just uh, ham, the pork? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just ham. Yeah, just ham. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, Everything ham. else is is good. Okay. All right. What about some fruit? No fruit. Oh, no fruit. <laughs> <laughs> In Brazil, don't you have wonderful fruit? <laughs> yes, we do actually. <laughs> <laughs> what um what kind of fruit is good right now in Brazil? Uh, right now we have um, um, papaya. Oh yeah. Banana. Always, yeah. always eaten. In banana. Yeah, but always banana. Yeah, and also some mango. Mango. Mangoes too. Yeah, yummy. And, and 
Do you drink coffee? Not really. I'm no. not a big fan. Yeah. No. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, sorry, Lisa. Uh huh. Um, does we have to fill all the numbers or only one? You just as much as you want, and as much ah, as one. you can. Every, oh, I, I understood that we have to make the, all the points. Uh, for which one? For uh, well, you can just do one question at a time, and if you finish with one and we cor and I correct it, and we have more time, then you can go to do another one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So after you finish one, then go to the other one, another one. I have finished the first one. Okay. Where did you write it? Which number? Alfredo. Uh, did you, but you didn't do number one. You did number three. Or number. F the number one. Oh, I'm not here. I don't see you. Someone has the letter, my letter. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see. I can find it usually. Let's see. Where is that? History. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I might be able to find it. Yes. Maybe. Mm hmm. There. I'm just looking <laughs> to see. Alfredo. I don't see where you did it. Oh. I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, I don't see it. Never mind. So, Lisa, I, I finished. Okay. Okay, uh, Alfredo, why don't you just do uh, number three and four right now? Okay. Okay. Oops. Hold on. I'm having problems with my screen here. Hold on. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Number three. The email to your mom. Alfredo, why don't you read that? Ah, do you want to read it? Yeah, you read it out loud. Okay. Hi, Mom. Thanks a lot for paying me this weekend in the beach. I had a blast here because uh, I have met a lot of people to talk with. And I have improved my English more than I never thought. The hotel is fine, and I hope to be back at home next Monday. Okay, great. All right, so when we're writing the email, we just write the what we call the greeting or the salutation, and then the comma, and then the next line in capitalized. Thanks a lot okay. for, um, I would say, for paying for uh, to go uh, to the beach, I would say, like this weekend. Um, I And I would say I have had a blast here because I have met a lot of people to talk with and I have improved oh. I have improved my English more than I ever thought the hotel is fine and I hope to be back at home uh, next Monday okay? okay and then you might want to put love Alfredo or something like that <laughs> okay, okay. okay good all right let's uh, have you read number four right here me? Yeah. 
uh, there's a boy dressed in orange playing with a snake, but he he but he doesn't know that his worst enemy is behind him, <laughs> waiting to push him to be beaten by the snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a boy dressed in orange. Oh. Uh, playing with a snake, but he doesn't know that his worst enemy is behind him waiting to push him uh, to be bitten by the snake. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Any any other ones? Yeah, yeah. Okay, who's yeah. next? Yeah, me please, Lisa. Okay, action, which number? Uh, number, number, number seven. Number seven, okay. All right, uh, number seven. Okay, go ahead. Uh, as everyone who sits in office, uh, five days, nine, six, I also look impatient to look forward for Friday. It's half day all workers. After Friday begins weekend in which I am free. I'm not sure what I will do this weekend, but I'm sure what I will not. I will not do. <laughs> um, I will not get up early. I will not wear classic especially tired. First of all, I'm planning to spend my weekend by doing some sport activities. On Saturday, I'm going to play table tennis and swim. On Sunday, I'm going to play soccer with my friends. Also, I'm planning to do some studying activities. Nowadays, I'm preparing to the, uh, for, the, for the international finance exam, so I'm going to continue my studies on it. Also, I'm going to visit Berlin.com for improving my English. Okay, good. Mm, but, but uh, also I have some more sentences, but I can't find it. So, yeah. so I, I got that I'm going to meet with my girlfriend. I, I, I hope uh, I will spend my weekend mm, through it. Uh, I also enjoy my weekend. Okay. All right, great. Okay, so I'm going to raise, as everyone who sits in, in uh, I would Office five days uh, a week. I would just put nine, six. I also look impatiently forward to Friday. It is happy. It is a happy day. After Friday begins uh, the weekend in which I am free. <laughs> sure, what I will do this weekend. Comma, but I am sure what I will not do. I will not get up early. Will not. I would keep putting I. Not wear. Uh, we say uh, a suit. Uh, yes, a yeah. yeah, especially a tie. Um, first of all, I am planning to spend my weekend by doing some sports activities. On Saturday, I am going to play table tennis and swim. On Sunday, I am going to play soccer with my friends. Also, I am planning to do some studying activities. Uh, we don't really need to say activities. We just we usually just say I'm going to do some studying. Now nowadays, I am preparing for the international finance exam, so I'm going to continue my studies uh, for it. Also, I am going to visit Verbling.com, and then we would just say to oops. English. Okay. Um, action. Are, do you live in Turkey? Where are you from? Are you from Turkey? I'm from Azerbaijan. Yeah. Oh, yeah I, okay, Azerbaijan. Oh, okay. I was wondering, but you guys have the weekend on uh, Saturday and Sunday or Friday? Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. Saturday and Sunday. Great. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank thanks. You. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm okay. Done. Anybody else? Ready? Lisa? You're done, Hamid? Yes. Okay. Let me find it. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Nowadays, uh, there are some investigations about the quality sleeping factors. One of these factors is sleeping time. Investigations show that uh, time should be at most eight hours for your healthy situation. There are some uh, scientific findings about it and I will mention on them. First of all, first of all <coughs> you should sleep and wake up with the uh, same time. Furthermore, it provides your biological time. 
Biological time is very crucial. First factor, good quality and healthy sleeping. Biological time also has some rules. The most important rule is your sleeping time. It should be between uh, 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Secondly, the quality sleeping is based on our uh, food. If we feed balanced and quality food, our sleeping quality is directly proportional with the food. For example, experts say that we should be away as possible as smoking, drinking alcohol and caffeine products. Thirdly, quality sleeping is near relationship uh, with our mood. If our mood is good, we can sleep well. It also depends on our daily work life and family life. If our all relationship with uh, our environment is good, we can sleep very well and eight hours sleeping provides reducing stress level. Thus, it increases our creativity and productivity. Finally, eight hours sleeping time is crucial for our whole ways from our relationships to our mental mood. It affects our daily life and we enjoy with better situations. Okay. Here we go. All right. Nowadays, there are some investigations about, uh, let, I'm going to say quality, yeah, we can say quality sleeping uh, factors. One of these factors is sleeping time. Investigations show that time uh, should be almost eight hours. Or I would say show that uh, the amount of time you sleep should be almost eight hours for a, or I would just say to be to be healthy. Um, there are some scientific findings about this. We'll mention. I would just say I will mention them here. First of all, you should sleep and wake up um, at the times. Uh, furthermore, it provides. I would. I don't think you need furthermore there. You would just say it. Uh, a, I would say, or it helps um, not provide biological time. Bio biological time is very crucial. Is uh, a very crucial first factor for good sleeping. Biological time also has some rules. The most important rule is your sleeping time. I would say. Do you mean at what time you go to bed, like when you start to sleep? Yes. Okay. The most important rule is when when you go between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Secondly, the quality um, of, I would say, a quality of sleep is related uh, to our food. If we eat uh, a balanced diet, I would say of quality food. Our sleeping quality uh, is actually proportional with the food. For example, experts say that we should stay away, and I would say as much as possible, uh, from eating, drinking alcohol and caffeine products. Thirdly, uh, quality sleeping is, I would say, uh, to, related to our mood. If our mood is good, we can sleep well. It also depends on our daily, daily work life and family life. If our, if our, I would say, if all relationships with, I would say with, because uh, you put family and friends with, I would say, our environment are good, very well, and eight hours Sleeping provides, uh, I would say, instead of provides, just stress. Thus, it increases our creativity and productivity. Finally, eight-hour sleeping time is crucial for um, uh, for, our, for for okay. Is crucial. I would just say for for many. 
from our relationships to our mental mood. It affects our daily life and we enjoy uh, better situations. And then I would just say, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, anybody else ready? I am yeah. ready. Yeah, I can wait. Okay. Anna, Anna, why don't you go All ahead? Right. And... All right. Um, Which number? Which one? Um, How about the inter check. internet provider? All right. That's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> I actually have a problem with my internet. So. Yeah. Um, all right. Dear internet provider, I've <laughs> been trying to contact you through the phone, but now because I got no answer from your side, I decided to write you this email. I'm facing constant problems with my internet connection. Its speed is too slow and being found under the speed that I pay for. I hope you can give me some answer. Attention and I'll be you kind of cut out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good. I've been trying to contact you through the. Uh, I would say by by phone. We say by phone. Yeah. But and then instead of since I got no answer from your side, I decided to write you this email. I am facing constant problems with my internet connection. Its speed and I. Is too slow, and um, I would say I have found it to be paid for. I hope you can give me some answers as soon as possible. Thank you for your attention. I will be waiting for your answer. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you have another one, Anna? Um, I, I think I do. A friend, language exchange partner. Yeah, uh, the hi mom. Um, number three. Number three. Um, hi mom. I just want to say thank you for being so caring with me and thank you for my trip to the beach. You know me really well. I needed some time on my own, just appreciating the sea and resting a little. I love you, and I'll look. Okay, good. That's good. I wouldn't need to correct anything. I uh, wanna is just a kind of a slang, so for the we that would just be very informal. If you were more formal, you would want to say, "I just want to," but yeah, you can do it to your mom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Did you have another one? Okay. Here. Go ahead and read your other one too for your friend. Mm -hmm. Anna. Okay. She, she just has one. Oh, wait, uh, something happened on my screen. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. For my friend, just another. Yeah. Here. Um, hi, how are you doing? There's been a while since we last talked. I miss our conversation. We always have lots of fun. I've been busy lately, that's why I'm not online as much as I used to be. If it's okay for you, I wish we could talk this Saturday after 2 p.m. There is so much I want to tell you. See you soon. Bye for now. Okay, good. Uh, how are you doing? You can just, oh, is that like your name? Okay, yeah, how are you doing? Um, we would say it a while since we last talked. I miss our conversations. We always have lots of fun. I have been busy lately um, and I would say and that's why I am not online as much as I used to be. If it's okay uh, I would say with you mm -hmm. uh, I hope uh, can talk this Saturday after 2 p.m. Uh, there's so much I want to tell you. Yeah, good. All right, all right. Good. Okay, Maria. Yes. Uh, Which one? I would like to to start with the internet provider. Okay. 
okay. uh, dear customer service on my internet service provider. I don't know how to address them at all, but <laughs> yeah, just uh, uh, actually. Okay, I'll tell. I'll tell you in English. Okay. In English, when you don't uh, know it's going to, you just write to whom it may concern. Uh -huh, okay, and then I don't need this stuff. Yep, at all. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I have been. I have been a customer of your of your company for three yeah. years now. Most of the time, the internet connection has worked as expected, but today I was disconnected for three hours, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., and I could not enter internet at all during those hours. I have also experienced slower connection speed than I than the speed I pay for. However, I need flawless internet connection in my work. I would like for you to understand my concern about the interruption in the internet connection today. Please increase the speed and I would appreciate if you could tell me the reason for the interruption. Okay. Good. So I don't know how to, you know, end, end this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Kind <laughs> regards, yeah. Um, I have been a customer of your company for three years now. Most of the time the internet connection has worked as expected, but today I was disconnected for three hours and I could not uh, we don't usually say enter the internet. It would be like get on the internet at okay. all during those hours. I also I have also experienced slower connection uh, speeds. I would say uh, than the speed I pay for because um, that kind of varies. You could say I have also experienced a slower connection speed, but usually it's just speeds. However, I need flawless internet connection uh, for my work. I would like for you to understand my concern about the interruption um, in the internet connection today. Please increase the speed and I would appreciate it. You could tell okay. me the reason for the interruption. Okay, good. Would you write differently, like get them to pay you back or something? Like <laughs> I don't know. Um, How to... may, yeah, maybe um, uh, depend not for just that short of an interruption, but if it was more, then I would probably also uh, kind of threaten them or tell them that if they weren't able to ensure, you know, more consistent service, that I would be looking for a new service provider or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. If there was one, <laughs> sometimes there's not. <laughs> sometimes yeah, you don't have very many. So how would you write the last sentence? Would you kind of? Oh. Make it a threat uh -huh. or something. <laughs> well, kind of. Um, yeah. Uh, fast. Um, uh. Because uh. it's yeah, please yeah. increase the speed. Sounds right. Right. I mean, <laughs> if I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I would, I would like to understand my concern about the internet. Yeah. Um, I would say I need you to, you know, I need to uh, increase this. <laughs> and um, and um, ensure me. There will be no future interruptions. Okay. Will I will start looking for another internet service provider? Usually, if you say something like that, then they're like, "Okay, wait a minute." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like yesterday, uh, I had this problem with my company, and they had charged me for a modem that I already had paid for three years ago, and mm -hmm. so they charged me an extra hundred dollars, and I had already talked to several people. And then finally, in, they sent me an email for another thing, and they wanted my feedback and customer service, like a survey. So I wrote them, a, and then and then the guy called me right away. So, uh, and he got my hundred dollars back. So, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Great. Yeah, but $100 not dollar for money. Happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also wrote a um, okay. um, the first the first. Uh, okay. The directions. The directions, yes. 
walk straight ahead on this street, Oak Street, until you come to Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Turn right on Fifth Avenue and walk straight straight ahead. Uh huh. Across, perhaps across Main Street, and then you will see the city library on the right side of the street. It is on the opposite side of the cemetery. Right. Cemetery. Perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Good. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah. But it's not the way you would say it because I. Um. This was very complicated. I no, guess. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of it was kind of tricky because uh, you know you have to pick where you're from so. Um, depending on where you actually started, like if you were over here on First Avenue, you know, you'd have to, there's lots of ways you could go, you, you know, go up on First Avenue, then it turns into Lake Boulevard, and then just turn left on Main Street, and then when you get to Fifth Avenue, mm -hmm. turn right, and it'll be on your right. You know, there's lots of, lots of ways you could say it. Yeah, lots of different you know, ways. Go on River Street all the way to Fifth Avenue, you know, go north, past Main Street, and then it'll be on your right. Basically, something like that, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a good a good way to practice that is uh, for English directions is just go to like Google Maps or something and uh, type in two different places where you want to go. And mm -hmm. I guess you have to set it to English because maybe it's in Swedish right now. But then uh, uh, just get directions, and then it it tells you like you know go. Okay. 20 miles on this street and then veer left. It, it tells you like everything to do. So that's a good way to practice. Yeah, that that's practice. great. Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody else ready to read? Yes, Lisa. Okay, good. We only have four minutes left. So if you've written something, I got it. Now's the time to, for me to correct it. Otherwise, I'm not going to have time. Okay. okay, Ishmael, why don't I read it and then correct it since we are running short on time? Okay. I think that it is important to get eight hours of sleep every night in order to stay healthy. Many people are hit by insomnia um, in today's, we could say, in today's modern lives. We try to uh, catch the time and must be more and more fast. Okay, we try to, uh, uh, what do you mean catch the time? Uh, it's my we, should, we should always arrive something in... Fast. Like we're, we're always trying to do something quicker and quicker? Yes. Like that. Okay. All right. Many people are hit by something to these modern rights. We try to, uh, I would say, uh, all the time, and it must be uh, quicker than before. Okay. I think that's right. Uh, we should work every day, and uh, I would say we work every every day, and get tired by the end of the day. It is a daily routine, routine which, which we need every day to make our livelihood. Our body and our soul is our body, I would say our bodies and our soul, since we're talking about many people, are filled with lots of things after a while. We need to find um, a way rest for our soul and our body. Sleeping, I would say, is the best solution for this problem, which has to us by God, and I would say so fresh and healthy. healthy. The specialist suggests to people to go to bed early and sleep between seven a day for their health. Many illnesses uh, with related to psychological, psycho, oops, to psychological and emotional problems of a man. Many doctors are finding lately a direct connection between uh, people who are ill and who and those who not sleep well. Diabetes high blood panic attacks and depression are related directly uh, to sleep. Physical and psychological conditions uh, depend directly on our sleep. If well, we can well and can wake up in a good mood. Also, we, uh, we can, uh, I would say, have responsibility and find solutions with 
thoughts uh, for our daily problems. We should go to bed early and sleep eight hours a day for our health. Okay, good. Can I ask if if it would yes. be just body and soul? Would you say is? Yeah. Our body and soul is filled. I mean, there are two things: one body and right. one soul. So, but there is still is. No. No. Our, our body. Yeah, our body and our soul are. Are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. but I, but when you're talking, like if you say our. Yeah, I understand. But if I say my body and my soul is filled. Are filled. Would that be correct? My body and my soul are filled. Right? Are. Are. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. A few people I didn't hear from. Let's see. Oliver, did you want to read any more? Are you still in the chat here with us? No. Some people left because it's over. <laughs> okay, Alfredo or Anna, did you have anything else you wanted to read? No, thank you so much, teacher. Okay, great. Well, uh, thank you for coming. You guys did a good job. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, thanks everybody. Uh, goes by fast in the end there, so I'm sorry if uh, some people dropped out because I didn't have time to finish. Okay. All right. We'll see you next time. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.